Mapping Innovation A Playbook for Navigating a Disruptive Age by Greg Saddle. Idiosyncratic Innovation. Every company handles innovation its own way. IBM conducts extensive fundamental research and is skilled at adapting its business model to changing market circumstances. Procter & Gamble teams up with external engineers and researchers to create must-have products consumers buy by the billions. Apple focuses on its customers and on delivering insanely great products and services. Google develops a steady stream of innovations through extensive experimentation. A disruptive strategy is fundamentally iterative. It is not a purposeful march toward a set of tangible strategic objectives, but thrives on experimentation and agility. Before figuring out how your firm should handle innovation, define what innovation is in your context. Scott Anthony, an expert on innovation, defines it as something different that has a measurable impact. Or, consider innovation as a novel solution to an important problem. Each company must determine what's important to its mission and what's not. Innovation is never a single event, and, rather than following a linear path, effective innovators combine the wisdom of diverse fields to synthesize information across domains. Your company wants to develop a singular innovation path. Determine whom you will work with on various innovations, how to coordinate those efforts and how to commercialize the results. No matter how your organization handles innovation activities, your CEO and senior executives must accept an unforgiving reality. Successful innovation is difficult to achieve. It requires multiple brilliant ideas and insights. It may take decades to transform ideas into profitable products or services. That is, if you can accomplish that goal at all. It takes more than a single big idea to change the world, and it can take decades after the initial breakthroughs for the true impact of an idea to become clear. Your company needs a definitive plan for where it's headed, how it will move forward and what its future role in its industry will be. Corporate leaders must understand that even with successful innovation, you will experience few, eureka, moments. Innovation never stems from an abrupt discovery by a solitary genius in an ivory tower lab. It almost always results from a combination of great ideas, collaboration by diverse experts, and hard work and effort over time. The innovation matrix. Even intrepid innovators don't travel one true path for innovation. Seeking such a route will waste time, money and effort. Big thoughts are fun to romanticize, but it's many small insights coming together that bring big ideas into the world. Your own path to innovation requires properly mapping your innovation space. To begin, ask, how well is the problem defined? Steve Jobs excelled at identifying and characterizing a product vision that his Apple colleagues could understand and get behind. To communicate his vision for the iPod, Jobs said he wanted to carry 1,000 songs in my pocket. This explained what the iPod's technical specifications should be, as well as the approach Apple's product developers should take. Frame the problem you want innovation to solve in the same crystal clear way. Who is best placed to solve it? Once Jobs explained what he wanted the iPod to do, it became obvious that Apple needed a hard drive with sufficient space to accommodate 1,000 digital songs and fit inside a person's pocket. Apple formed a partnership with Toshiba, which developed a 5GB hard drive as small as a silver dollar. With this fundamental data storage problem solved, Apple created the iPod by deploying its engineering and design expertise. As Toshiba best solved Jobs's and Apple's primary iPod problem, identify the internal or external resource your firm can tap to solve its innovation quest. We teach people that everything that matters happens between your ears, when in fact it actually happens between people. Sandy Pentland. Once you identify a problem, assign it and the agenda of activities necessary to fix it to the most appropriate innovation domain in your organization so that team can develop the ideal innovation strategy. Establish four innovation domains. Basic research. Don't expect to do the deep research to define the problem comprehensively right away. Almost always, the government funds basic research and academics actually carry it out. Fundamental research does not bring an immediate payoff, but it's essential to the long-term betterment of humankind. Nobel laureate George Smoot said, if we only did applied research, we would still be making better spears. Most firms don't do basic research, 
although Microsoft and IBM do. Many firms monitor basic academic research. They send their researchers to attend specialized technical conferences so they stay abreast of the latest research and innovative developments. Sustaining innovation. To stay competitive, companies must upgrade their technology. This incremental innovation, or sustaining innovation, has led to cameras that routinely add extra pixels, computers that grow increasingly robust, and everyday household items that become new and improved. With their large R&D operations, giant companies excel at sustaining innovation. It fits nicely into their strategic road mapping. This involves setting clear objectives and outlining the activities needed to achieve them. Breakthrough innovation. While most firms don't engage in basic research, many do conduct applied research focused on solving existing problems. Disruptive innovation. We always overestimate the change that will occur in the next two years and underestimate the change that will occur in the next 10. Choose the right tool for the right job. That's the essence of building a successful innovation strategy. Experian. A scientist in his laboratory is not a mere technician. He is also a child confronting natural phenomena that impress him as though they were fairy tales. Marie Curie. Strategy, therefore, is no longer a game of chess but a process of widening and deepening networks of connections. Creating something fundamentally new is a slow, painstaking process, and although small startups can move fast, larger enterprises have the luxury of moving deliberately. Data Labs uses the appropriate tools for their specific research and innovation tasks. Because special innovation entities have become popular within corporations, many companies set them up indiscriminately. Firms hope for magical innovation solutions that will fix prior innovation failures. That isn't Holler's rationale for data labs. Although he doesn't assign his researchers to specific basic research areas, he makes sure that they remain up to date on the latest research and developments outside of the company. The Innovation Playbook Companies must treat innovation with the same dedication and seriousness they apply to the business functions of finance, accounting, marketing, manufacturing or logistics. They should be aware in advance that technological needs, such as microprocessors and energy storage, soon will bump up against their theoretical limits. Corporations need moonshot breakthroughs to maintain their future productivity. They need to adapt in order to stay abreast of the developments in such fields as genomics, nanotechnology, and robotics. Anytime we try to understand an innovation through events, the story only gets more tangled and bewildering. And it doesn't get any clearer if we look at the innovators themselves. Every innovation playbook, for every organization of any kind, involves six basic principles. Actively seek out good problems. Innovation is less about amazing ideas than about focusing on the correct problems. Choose problems that suit your organization's capabilities, culture and strategy. Ask the right questions to map the innovation space. Innovation doesn't offer any magic bullet. What works for one innovator won't necessarily work for another. Ask questions to define the exact problem your organization confronts. Choose the right domain. Basic research, breakthrough innovation, sustaining innovation or disruptive innovation. The domain will determine your innovation strategy. Leverage platforms to access ecosystems of talent, technology and innovation, to gain competitive advantage, rely more on your firm's network connections than on its operational efficiencies. The most important connections link the company to talent, technology and innovation. Commercial power resides at the center of networks. Build a collaborative culture, as Linda Chin, a co-creator of the Institute for Applied Cancer Science, advises, applied science requires execution by a cross-disciplinary team. Team members must be empathetic, work well with others and form mutual bonds of understanding. They must pay attention to their colleagues' concerns. Understand that innovation is a messy business. Most people and organizations that try to innovate fail, often repeatedly, before they succeed. Don't become discouraged. As Thomas Edison said, if I find 10,000 ways something won't work, I haven't failed. I am not discouraged, because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward. Take a ways. Innovation calls for the development of fresh concepts to solve problems. 
Great innovations depend more on numerous small insights than on one big idea. Innovation is never linear. It is a synthesis of different domains of knowledge. Innovation is an ecosystem. It represents a combination of insights, ideas, and efforts. Significant innovation depends on collaboration among experts with diverse skills. To innovate well, apply the appropriate innovation tools to the job. Define the problem you must fix and develop a distinctive innovation plan that fits your company. The most innovative firms empower the best teams. This matters more than hiring the best people. A great idea may take decades to become a great innovation. Business strategists must strategically expand their networks and strengthen their connections. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.